Mr. Coxman? What can I do for you? It's about your son. Cold Pursuit is the story of a father seeking retribution, but the race row caused by Liam Neeson's real-life temptation to exact revenge against the black community has forced Lionsgate Films to effectively cancel tonight's premiere in New York. Earlier on ABC's Good Morning America, Liam Neeson detailed how the rape of a female friend 40 years ago by a black man prompted him to roam the streets looking to kill a random black person. I had never felt this feeling before, which was a primal urge to lash out. I went out deliberately into black areas in this city looking to be set upon so that I could unleash physical violence. Today, he insisted his motive for violence was not based on prejudice, but a result of his upbringing in Northern Ireland in the 70s. I'm not racist. I, 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 this was nearly 40 years ago. I had acquaintances who, who were involved in the troubles, uh, the bigotry. One Catholic would be killed. The next day, a Protestant would be killed. One Catholic pub would be bombed. A Protestant pub would be bombed. I grew up surrounded by that. If your friend had said it was a white man, would you want her to go oh, out definitely. and kill him? If she just said an Irish, or a Scot, or a Brit, mm -hmm. or a Lithuanian, I, would, I know I would have had the same effect. Liam Neeson has built a career playing moral heroes seeking to right a wrong, often using extreme violence. I will find you, and I will kill you. But despite the passage of time, this story suggests he was once a man who struggled to make the right choices. We all pretend we're all kind of, you know, politically correct. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this country, it's the same in my own country too, you sometimes just scratch the surface and you discover this racism, racism and bigotry, and it's there. Unlike almost every other Liam Neeson movie launch, tonight the actor won't be appearing on the red carpet for the premiere. It'll be a private screening instead as the fallout from his comments sinks in. My reaction was shock. I mean, Liam, Liam Neeson is, you know, one of my favorite actors. Um, to hear that he went out to stalk African-American men uh, to avenge uh, a horrible rape of a friend is it was completely shocking. Here, there are some prepared to defend him. He's not saying that he thought that now, and I know that people think that now, but he's not saying he thinks it now. He's saying he thought about it for one week when he was in a rage about his friend being raped, and then after that, he realized that he was wrong. He may have told the story in a spirit of honesty, but some are predicting a backlash that will force Hollywood to leave him out in the cold. Dan Rivers, News at 10.